Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another fishing reel review for you. Uh, today's fishing reel is another bait runner to add to my uh, extensive bait runner collection. Uh, but today I have the more uh, budget conscious version, uh, which is the bait runner ST and it's the 4000 FB size. There is a smaller size, which is a 2500. Uh, that is quite small, as you can see, uh, using my hand is a bit of a scale. This, this reel is quite on the small side, um, but I think it still should be fine for the kind of uh, use I'm going to be uh, putting it to the test on, which is mostly uh, flathead, uh, salmon, maybe some pinky size snapper, um, sort of the fish on the little bit smaller size. Um, if I was fishing for large snapper or uh, tuna or sharks or something like that, I would definitely uh, be using one of my larger, a uh, little bit more hardcore bait runners. But um, I've been eyeing off this uh, the cheaper models for a little while, um, just as something to have a bit of a muck around with and uh, something I won't be so precious about, <laughs> as the, the other bait runners are, are quite pricey. And uh, recently this was on sale at my uh, local uh, Anaconda uh, store, I believe it was. And I got a really good deal on it and I uh, couldn't resist. And I'm going to be pairing that up today uh, with some of this uh, braid here, which is Nomad Design Pandura. Um, never used this braid before. I'm looking forward to checking it out. Um, I chose it mostly due to the colour. And also the price. Uh, again, it was on sale and uh, very affordable for braid. Um, now, I did get it in a 15 pound size, which is uh, 0.2 diameter, 200 meters. So, after I put some backing line um, on this reel, I think it should fill it up quite nicely. And uh, for those of you that uh, don't know, uh, when you put braid on a fishing reel, you have to put a uh, small layer of mono filament uh, line as a backing so the uh, braid doesn't slip. Uh, I think the first time I ever put braid on there, I did put it straight on there. And uh, <laughs> when you go to fill the line on, you'll find it just slides and slides and slides as braid is very slippery. It doesn't really grip well to itself. Uh, hence why braid also needs its own knots. Um, but uh, any, anyone that's uh, using braid for the first time, just maybe do a little bit of research about it. Um, and you'll find all the knots you need to on uh, on the internet or YouTube or fish forums um, And I'll also explain uh, what I'm going to do as far as how I'm going to put it on um, And there's a specific knot I use as well, and uh, I'll just be taking you through that uh, But yeah today's uh, fishing reel is the uh, 4000 ST um, It's quite nice. It's quite lightweight just having the uh, plastic spool um, It's still the solid sort of Shimano uh, construction uh, which is nice and of course it has the uh, uh, bait runner lever uh, which is the whole reason why I've got it with the uh, bait runner uh, rear drag system and then your normal spool drag on the front um, yeah it feels quite nice um, and for something sort of a bit a uh, bit cheaper um, it could be the choice for you um, bait runners are quite expensive they are sort of one of Shimano's um, I guess you could say more premium size reels. Of course, they have some super premium uh, reels as well. Uh, but this is definitely towards the budget end. Um, and I'm looking forward to just having a little bit of a play with it. So, um, yeah. Now, the um, I did choose 15 pound braid as I wanted something a little bit stronger. Um, it's still a small diameter. Um, but yeah, I did want something just a little bit heavier on there. Um, I like the sort of the security of having something heavier if it's going to be scraping on underneath a boat or on a pier or a pylon or something like that um, and braid's excellent for that I've had it scrape underneath boats and against piers and uh, haven't lost a fish so uh, braid is fantastic like that so I tend to go a little bit heavier with the braid and uh, and then with my uh, trace that I put on the end of course you can sort of uh, yeah, go whichever size you'd prefer uh, okay, so I'm going to uh, put some line on it now and I'll take you through the process of that Okay, so uh, here I have the line I'm going to be putting on um, as my backing line. It's just some uh, some old uh, Maxima 
Fibre Fiber Glow uh, Mono. Uh, it's only 5.5 kilos, so it's reasonably thin, but it'll give me a good solid base to uh, attach my uh, braid to. I also have my uh, braid scissors, uh, which I really like to use uh, for braid, but of course it also cuts monofilament really well. Um, if you are getting into braid, you will really like to get yourself some nice scissors to cut it with. Uh, braid doesn't cut super well um, with a lot of tools, so uh, it's good to have something specific for the job. And like I said, uh, you can really use it on, on all, um, all applications, not just for braid. So I'm going to chuck my uh, mono on the bottom. You just attach that as you would any other line, tie, tie it around the spool with a nice knot. And we'll put on a, a nice little amount of backing on there. And uh, I'll see you uh, in a couple of minutes. Okay, so here it is with the backing on there. As you can see, it's not a massive amount, just enough to give a, uh, a little bit of a layer on the bottom there. Uh, to give your braid something really to uh, attach to and sink into and give it a nice bit of grip um, So if you ever uh, get down you know that if you ever get down past this knot that we're about to tie and you get down to the uh, pink mono you're in a bit of trouble <laughs> so uh, Usually when I'm fishing I have a knife on my belt um, If I end up hooking into something that's uh, really I can tell is going to strip me of all my braid I cut it off as soon as possible, which does happen on the odd occasion. Uh, where I go fishing, we can quite often hook into uh, one uh, or even over two meter across uh, stingrays and rays and sharks, and even the odd seal and dolphin, if you're unlucky. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, one thing you don't want to lose is an entire spool of braid. You know, braid can be quite expensive. Um, it's one of the downsides of braid, that's for sure. Um, it is quite pricey, um, but basically this line, it can be any old line on the bottom here. That's like I said, that uh, line I have is probably uh, maybe 10 years old or something. It's just a bit of leftover line from one time when I spooled a uh, fishing reel and it does the job perfectly. You don't have to go out and buy some super, uh, super duper monofilament or fluorocarbon as your backing line. Just any old line will do, even some line off an old fishing reel. Um, it's just something to give your braid something to attach to. Okay, so now I'm going to um, get out the braid and have a bit of a look at it, let you know what I think of it, and then we're going to uh, going to tie our double uni knot. Now this is a great knot for attaching your braid to mono. Basically, what you're going to be doing is um, creating two knots that are going to pull in against each other, and it makes a really nice tight knot and a small one. Um, and like I said, it's really just to attach the two lines together. It's if you, if you get down to this knot and you're hoping this knot is going to hold a fish, um, well, you know, you've really come to the end of <laughs> what you've got. But it, it may happen one day. So this knot is strong enough that uh, you can rely on it. But um, if you are down to the last 20 or 30 metres of your line, um, here's hoping you can bring in that fish. Um, so here we go. We're going to have a look at the braid now and then uh, I'm going to go ahead and tie the knot. Okay, so here's our braid. Uh, as I said, this is the first time I've used this braid. It is an Australian uh, braid. It feels quite nice. Um, feels quite slippery and not too stiff. Um, it definitely doesn't feel as premium maybe as some of the other braids that I've used, uh, but I'm definitely going to give it a try. Um, you can see on the back here, it does use a uh, Japanese um, fiber, so that's always a good thing. Um, but it basically gives all the uh, same stats that other braids claim about casting and um, it's coded to provide uh, strength and casting distance etc um, but yeah I'm quite excited to support um, an Australian uh, braid on this reel so we're going to uh, chuck it on and have a look so uh, as I said earlier um, I'm going to be putting on a double uni knot now I don't have a I'm still as yet to get a phone holder, so I'm not quite able to take you through how I do the knot specifically. Um, the double uni knot is uh, very easy to do. It looks a little bit complex, but it's quite easy to do. Um, you may even want to practice on some offcuts first. Um, but the, the knot is on the internet in forums and especially on YouTube. Um, I hope 
one day soon I will get a, uh, a phone holder so I can show you actually myself tying the knot, um, <laughs> so to speak. Um, but yeah, if you just do a search for double uni knot or, or uh, braid braid to uh, mono um, knot, um, yeah, you, you'll find it um, everywhere on the internet. Um, so I'm going to uh, tie the knot now and uh, give you a bit of a look at it. Okay, so here's the uh, knot. I've tied it, uh, tied it up, tied it up. Sorry, um, gave it a little bit of lubrication with a bit of uh, a bit of uh, spittle, <laughs> you might say, um, and then pulled them nice and tight. And uh, as you pull this knot in, you'll feel it sort of pop, um, and you know it's nice and secure. So as you can see there, it's nice and neat. Uh, the mono side and the braid side nicely uh, curled around there. I did leave a little bit longer tags on either end just so you could um, see them there. Um, or else, yeah, it can be quite difficult to get a, a nice uh, picture for the uh, for the video here. Um, but anyway, th yeah, that is the double uni knot. As you can see, it's it's nice and clean, nice and flat. You can trim those tags down a little bit lower. Um, so I might do that. I might just take a little bit more off those tags and then uh, that's going to sit nice and flush on the reel. Um, so now I'm going to uh, fill up the reel uh, with the braid and then I'm going to give you a look at the uh, final result. Okay, so here's the braid uh, on the reel here. So it's um, the colours vary quite a bit. I believe it's like the uh, depth marker. Perhaps it's every 20 metres or so, I'm, I'm guessing. Um, changes color. The line has quite a few colors in it actually from blue to white to uh, purple to sort of uh, violet color and uh, I've, I've used the entire spool of reel and I uh, finished up with the blue color there but um, should look pretty cool as uh, as the line gets wound in or cast out the colors sort of change and yeah it looks pretty nice. Um, I, I think it's probably it's still good quality, but not quite as good a quality as I've found in some of my other braids that I've used. But I'm looking forward to giving it a good test out, seeing how it casts and um, seeing if I get any uh, wind knots, etc. in it. Uh, but yeah, that's the, uh, the reel. Now it feels quite nice, um, quite nice handling when you're just spooling it up. Um, it's not too heavy, which is good. It's definitely lighter than the other bait runners. Um, but still feels pretty solid and it feels nice. It has two ball bearings, which is good. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to giving it a really good test uh, come summer, which is a little way off here in uh, Melbourne at the moment. We're in winter, but uh, yeah, I think the 4000 uh, FB is going to be quite good and a nice cheaper alternative to the other bait runners. Uh, thanks for watching today's video. This has been, just been a bit of a quick review of the reel itself. Um, in the in the coming weeks, I plan to get out all of my bait runner collection, and uh, oh, sorry, that's my dog drinking some water there. <laughs> I'm looking to get uh, out all my bait runner collection, uh, line it all up, and give a little bit more detailed review um, on all the different sizes. Uh, people have asked a few a uh, little bit more in depth questions about each one, so that I don't really cover in these um, quicker reviews. So I'm looking to get my entire set out. I'll go through the detail of each one um, and uh, hopefully that will keep um, everyone out there happy uh, in, uh, in the future. So yeah, please look out for that video. I uh, hope you'll check out the other videos on my channel. I have uh, other fishing reel uh, reviews, mostly bait runners, um, as those are the reels that I love and I, I'm a fan of Shimano. I also have uh, videos of my other hobbies, uh, including gaming and uh, a few of my pets. So. I hope you'll check out the rest of my video, the uh, rest of my channel, and you'll find something on there uh, that you'll enjoy. So thanks for watching today, and I'll catch you soon. Bye for now.